Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, Andy here from Big Mix Workshop Painting Studio, and it's another one from our range of Lord of the Rings starter videos. So, as you can see, this is Army of the Dead, and we're going to do this really easily. Unusually, uh, we'll start off with a grey prime. Now, you can use Corax White, um, any of that sort of thing. And uh, I've given it a bit of a dry brush of white as well before we started. So, as you can see, I've got Sotek Green, and I've really thinned this down. It's uh, slightly thinner than a, a wash consistency. Um, you could use contrast paints, but this is done without contrast paints or anything fancy, ain't no technical paints or anything like that. This is uh, really, really easy. And as you can see, I'm just giving it a, a nice, even coat across everything. Just one coat, um, and it's just going to get everywhere. Uh, we want a nice um, bit of variation with the colour, which is why I've uh, done the dry brush as well. After uh, a hell of a long time waiting for that to dry, we're now going to um, do some dry brushing. And this is Celestria Grey by uh, GW. This is all going to be GW paint. So, uh, again, as I said, it's um, geared towards beginners. But um, you experienced guys will um, may, may be able to pick up a couple of ideas. And this is going to be done on every single model from the uh, Army of the Dead range, what I own. Once the uh, uh, Celestrian Grey is uh, being dry brushed on, and I've got it across all the models, I'm now doing exactly the same thing. Uh, with a, a slightly lighter um, dry brush with Ulfo and Grey again going all over the model uh, really starting to focus on the um, extreme part so as we want a really nice um, good quality uh, finish uh, to really make them uh, stand out so that's what we're at that's where we're at um, currently as you can see we've got the rest of the squad um, uh, down there as well doing all the same thing and we're starting to look a bit scruffy and this is um, where we're just going to sort of neaten them up a bit. We're going to add a bit of detail now. So we're going to start um, with a lead belcher. And this is going all over any of the uh, metal work. Um, I decided I was going to uh, have the the, ma the the man itself um, ghostly. But his equipment um, a bit more physical. Um, just to make it look a bit more interesting. And actually have some work to do on the model. So as you uh, all the uh, metal work bits are getting done in, um, all, well, all the iron um, bits are getting done in the uh, lead, uh, lead belcher, and all the wood and uh, leathers are getting based in Rhinox hide. Um, you can go for any of the other colours. I wanted it just to be really simple, though. Um, Rhinox hide is a great, is a good base for both uh, leathers and wood. Um, and that, with these guys being uh, such a simple uh, paint job. I just decided to go with uh, the one colour just to keep it really easy and uh, make the uh, models look neat enough but keep them simple so you can have the entire squad done in a, a matter of an hour. You spend more time waiting for stuff to dry. So once the uh, Rhinox hide has gone down, uh, the armour and the blade is getting a nice thinned wash of Seraphim Sepia. Um, again, GWs and as you can see it's just going all over it. Um, Get a nice rusty sort of effect all over the uh, metal work. I'm just going to age it somewhat. So what we're going to do now is just add a little, start to add some detail work into it. So the uh, cross guards of the swords, and the pommel, and belt buckles, things like that. Other little uh, odds and ends. I'm going to get based up in Retributor armor, uh, just to, like I say, just going to brighten the uh, model up a little bit, and uh, just to add a bit more colour to it as well. So once the uh, Retributor armor has gone down, the wood and the uh, gold work and the leather work is all getting um, washed down in Agrax Earth Shade. Just going to add a nice bit of depth to the model uh, around the areas. Just going to make it look a bit more interesting. So now we're going to go back up with the lead belt gym. This is going to dry brush the entirety of the um, silver work, all the metal work. Now, to be fair, you're probably better off doing this before you start painting the um, belts and that. Uh, just a mistake I made. Uh, but it really, um, it's really easy, nice and quick. And you get that nice um, sort of rusty iron look. Once that's drying up, we're now uh, back onto the wood and the leather, and this is Dryad Bark. Uh, just a nice, gentle highlight uh, all over the leather. We're going to 
It's um, going to do a little, uh, a little bit more work on the leather and the wood. I'm uh, going to go up uh, with um, dry bark all over the woods as a scene. And uh, again, it's just to bring some of the um, some of the um, details out a little bit. And once that's dry, we're going back over it all with uh, Gorefall Brown, just to add uh, some more uh, definition to the uh, to the wood and the leather. Now you can take uh, this is just an idea, of a, uh, more of an experiment and a really easy paint scheme. Uh, you can uh, take this as far or as uh, as easy as you want. Uh, but the idea was I wanted the entire um, squad, all twenty models, done in a matter of an hour, uh, an hour or two, and uh, you, just to get something like a reasonably ghostly effect. So the last bit of uh, work uh, could be done with a technical paint, but we didn't have any to hand. And this is BL Tan uh, wash all over any of the uh, ghostly fleshy areas, you know, so in between his ribs, his hands, his face. And I'm also overlaying it a little bit onto the uh, other areas near abouts and then, then parts, just to expand on the uh, on the ghostliness. And this is the end of end of effect uh, once uh, the guys have been done. As I've said, painted 20 in a couple of hours, really easy to do, and uh, you get a reasonably um, convincing effect as well. But feel free to um, expand on this uh, uh, idea. It's it was designed to be really simple. So anyway, thank you for watching. A really quick video there, because obviously uh, a nice and simple paint job. Uh, huge thank yous to uh, everyone for watching this. I hope you uh, enjoyed some... Uh, enjoy our content and keep on watching this stuff if you do want to um, help us out hit like and subscribe that's a massive um, help to us as is um, our patreons so massive thanks to our patreons uh, in particular the old boys Matt, Ludwig Hofbauer, Dwack, Mark, Dave, Tom, Spiky Dude and Warren thank you for coming back Warren We're chuffed to bits to see you back um, and I hope everything's and I hope everything's well with everybody. Also, please check out the Outpost and Element Games. We've got um, our affiliate links in the description. There, cut price um, GW uh, vendors sell all the different um, ranges of models what you can want, plus all the hobby supplies what you need. If you go through our affiliate links, we get um, five percent store uh, store credit from the Outpost or double crystals depending on what um, what affiliate link. So. It costs you absolutely nothing, and we just get a small benefit as well for uh, as a thank you from them saying um, uh, advertising their product. So a huge thank you to you guys for watching, and we shall catch you in the next one. Bye bye.